Hi everyone, today I want to do a review of Canvas Candy. Canvas Candy is a tool uh, developed by TFT Hacker and it is a complement of Obsidian Canvas. If you have used Obsidian Canvas before, you will certainly know that it is a very good tool. It is a, an infinite whiteboard in Obsidian, but it also has a limitation. It has very limited styling options and that is why uh canvas candy is helpful because it allows you to style the cards in many different ways and uh, uh tft hacker also has a lot of documentations about canvas candy for example how you can style the border how you can style the cards in different shapes and then how you can give header and footers to your cards and how do you use sticker some youtubers also did a review for Canvas Candy. For example, Mike, he did a, a very good review review on Canvas Candy. Talk about how to use Canvas Candy, how do you use, install it in your vault, uh, how do you style it, and then how to create fan diagrams, how do you create timelines. They are, but actually you can find all the examples in, um, in the package as well. So, yeah, you can, and then he also introduced, uh, he also teach us a way to use it more easily, but we will go through this later, right? So, uh, the price of Canvas Candy is 19, 19 buck, I guess, but as a Obsidian developer, I, I can take it for free. So I'm very grateful uh about this that's why i want to do a review as well i'm pretty sure that uh if you're interested you also want to learn more about um like it is it really that useful before you um make a decision to buy it right that's why um i hope you find learn something in this video and let's start so if you uh pay for the plugin you will get this zip and if you unzip it you will get a, get a vault and you open it in your obsidian I already open it right so after you after you get into the vault uh you will go into this page basically uh, you can see that there are a lot of documentations here uh and there are a lot uh i want to go through these uh, folders one by one so that um before you use it you you can have a glance i i, I, will, I will not talk about them one by one i'll just show them one by one for example you can change border you can change the card shape change the footer stickers uh, header header footers and stickers there's some samples you can create flow charts uh, you can create timelines very beautiful and then like you can um create these uh flow like process charts, structure diagrams, uh, network, uh, tree view, uh, my map, right? U UML diagrams, fan diagrams, map, things like that. Um, yeah. And then you have some, uh, the stencils means like uh, the predefined components for you to use. Uh, you can see that like border, no border, border top, dash border, dot border, double border, round border, um, shape, circle, diamond, oval, parallelogram, uh, square, and, and then like footers, right? Gradient, headers, things like that. Now I quickly show all of this. And then this is the lesson one, how you use it. This is the lesson two, lesson three, lesson four, lesson five right so if you have uh if, if you're interested just slow down and then you uh have a look at it um right and one key point that i want to talk about is that actually to use this uh canvas candy you don't need any installation because uh, it is not a plugin it is just a css snippet if you disable this css snippet everything will go back to normal they're just a uh, rectangular card uh, nothing is special here um uh, if you if you go go to this card here nothing is special they're just rectangular card so uh how you use it is basically uh 
copy uh, after you have this vault copy uh your css snippets to your obsidian and then everything will work everything will work i also make a note about this this is my personal note uh i published this in my website so if you want to look uh it is a very oversimplified guide right but uh if you don't want to go through all these documentations if you want to prefer a simplified guide just go through my page um so i want to conclude uh the canvas candy in into three main things uh so there are three ways to style your cards the first one is css classes decoration the second one is call out decoration the final one is sticker so you can see that um the the shapes here uh, or any style here is actually they, they are just normal card but they have call out and css classes and i want to talk about css classes first because it's the first type of decorations um you can see that there's cc border none cc border drop shadows where these class name come from uh if you go to list of decoration if it has a list of decorations here and these are important right um if you're good at css probably you don't even need these examples you don't you you, you don't need all these you don't need all these you just need to start writing css let's say css classes let's say this is a note this is a normal note right this is a note right this is a normal note but what if i want to change the border to dash then css border dash yeah it's changed to dash and then what if i want to change the background to transparent css cc card cc card transparent right how I, how can i prove it is transparent make this yellow card and now you can see it is passed through the yellow card so it is transparent right normally a card will have a if you if you change the color it will be background color as well be background green as well like if you change the color to green then the background will be green so what if you want to rotate it cc uh rotate card 45 yep now the tax is trim cc uh card center then the tax go to center uh what if i want to change the shape cc shape circle yep what if i want to change the to parallelogram P R A P A R A L E L. Yeah, parallelogram. What? Am I spelling it wrong? What? Is it because it, it is not compatible with rotate? Hmm. What does it mean? Hmm. What does it mean? What does it mean? I need to debug. I need to debug it. It is because the spelling is wrong. The class name is not this one. Let's look at the stencil. Okay, it's difficult to see. C C shape. Okay, this is no problem. Okay, what happens? What happens? How about this? Okay, this is left. Okay, I see that. There, there. You, you have to put a left here, right? You have to put a right here. Oh, okay. So I found a problem in the documentation. Sorry. Um, I cannot go back. What? Why? 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 I cannot undo. It is a bug that. This is a bug of Obsidian Canvas, not Obsidian Canvas Candy. I cannot undo in Obsidian Canvas. So, um, let me change it for him. Let me change it for TFT Hackers, right? Uh, this should be left, right? Yeah, so, uh, so you get the basic idea. You don't need any, you don't, you don't, if you, if you know CSS classes, all you need is just this list of decorations. You don't need all that stuff. You don't need all that examples. But um, I, later I will go f the limitation later, right? I will talk about another way to style your card. It's called 
the um, it's called the call out decorations so this is call out decoration what does it mean you make a call out cc header header right this is a header is is content cc footer this is footer then you you, you see a card uh cc footer no border yeah the border is gone so this is the call decoration this is the second type of uh decorations that you can use in canvas candy the third one is call sticker the third thing that um you can use in canvas candy is sticker sticker is just F svg file that you can use to style your, th your stuff for example like uh this one svg they're just svg file here yep this is how tft hacker creates this effect it is just sticker this it is just an svg file and he also teach you how to um add your custom sticker to your uh to canvas to obsidian canvas so um it's really cool but there are some limitations for example like just now you can see that uh like uh yeah you can see that if i want to resize it the handle is not right it's not at the right position it's somewhere near because um in fact it's still re a rectangle although it looks like it is a per per uh, parallelogram it is still a rectangle and yeah that's why it's difficult to to change the uh change the size um he suggests tft hacker suggests that if you want to change the size resize it you tap into it resize it and then uh, render it tap into it resize it render it tap into it resize it render it yeah and like there's another limitation as well especially but this is not a limitation of css uh, of canvas candy it's just a limitation of obsidian canvas if you look at the example uh he can create very complex things here but if you type into the if you type into the card you can see that everything is string is string because uh, if you want to edit it you need to expand it you need to expand it first and then edit it is really just troublesome it's just a, it's so trouble to do it and yeah and the css classes are alone uh let's say i just want to create something like this it's just it, it would be so simple to create if i'm using another tool but if i want to use it in obsidian i have to add all these css class names and yeah and it is just so difficult to remember all these class names so it is the, a limitation as well okay i want to talk about one more limitation is that when you zoom out the shape doesn't change what does it mean let's say this is circle if i zoom out it will become square because uh for ob obsidian render it differently when you zoom in and zoom out so these two actually uh, like now you zoom in now you zoom out obsidian handle it differently so canvas candy only style the shapes uh only style the cards when you zoom in um so that is a limitation if you zoom out you will not be able to see uh the shape of the card and how i use i want to talk about how i use uh canvas candy in my own vault so basically i already told you that i copy the canvas candy css to my vault and i since i don't want to remember all those class names i found the easiest way of me to use it is not using tax expander if you go to uh, mike video 
he teach us how to use text expander to to let you select uh different class names um if you if you type a short keyword it will it will give you a drop down to select the class name but i found that that is not the case for me i don't i don't i don't use it that way if if i i just copy and paste yeah because uh i in this way i don't even need to remember the class name let's say i want a yellow circle to connect with a blue circle i just copy and paste change the text yeah and then i just change to it i don't want fill i want this one change to it this is bad parallelogram copy it paste here right connect to it yeah this is how i use it it is even more easier than uh, remember all those class names because i found that i actually don't need to customize my 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 card that much i use uh i i like using apple freeform so how i create card is that it's just okay let's say this is the gallery it's just like this it's just like this how i do here let's say this is the shape gallery i just drag and drop i just drag and drop this is a note if i want to do uh i need, i want to create another shape i just copy and paste and then change the color this is how i do it i don't want to deal with all the all those css class not even using text expander right um yeah so I am not sure. I mean, I guess like people have different habits. Uh, some people prefer typing all the things out. I just prefer copy and paste. So it really depends on you. But if you find it help, uh, helpful, then Canvas Candy is your way. Uh, so far, Canvas Candy is the only way that you can style uh, Obsidian uh, Canvas. In diff into different shapes and to and to give them different styles. So if you are uh, wants to style your canvas, I guess Canvas Candy will worth the money. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you uh, want to ask something, just leave me a comment. I will try my best to answer you in the comments. Yeah. So. Uh, see you next time. Bye.